Hi, Charles. Hi. What's your full name, Charles? Charles Evans. Charles, what's your position here at Jacasa? I am drug court liaison, Genesee Justice liaison, and clinic counselor. So can you explain some of that to me? What, what does a clinic counselor do? Uh, I run phase two men's group on Monday, Wednesday evening, uh, phase one education group on Wednesday, and carry a caseload of clients. You're a case act T, aren't you? Yes, I am. What's a case act T? means I have all the educational hours for a KSAC and get my, uh, I have to take the test to become an official KSAC in December. What's a KSAC? Credentialed Alcohol, or, yeah, Credentialed Alcohol Substance Abuse Counselor. That's New kind York of the State. official designation in New York State for a substance abuse counseling professional. Yes, it is. I will be official in December. Good for you. How long you been at Jacasa? Two years. Now tell me what a drug court liaison is. Um, drug court carry, uh, there are about 30 Jacasa clients that are currently involved with drug court right now and I go to drug court report on the client statuses and make any treatment recommendations through the team here if needed. Yeah, now the drug court serves Genesee County? Yeah, all of Genesee County. And it is in the, actually it's in the city court though, isn't it? Yes, it is, with uh, Judge Balbick. Judge Balbick presiding. Yes. And who's the drug court uh, coordinator these days? Nicole Desmond. Yeah, so you work the, with Nicole and the judge? I work with Nicole, the judge, public defender, district attorney, mental health, probation, any other treatment providers. And, um, does drug court work, Charles? Yes, drug court does work. It has a higher success rate for people in the criminal justice system because it implements treatment into it and not just probation or parole or anything. That It gives them the opportunity to change instead of be stuck in the system. The recidivism rate is about 50% less. That's pretty amazing. Remember the Rockefeller drug laws, Charles, where we were putting everybody in jail and then Very in California they did the three strikes and you're out and you sit in jail the rest of your life. Yes. And that's pretty expensive for the taxpayers. It's, it's over 70 percent of people incarcerated have uh, addiction issues. And it costs us about uh, thirty-five, forty thousand dollars $40,000 a year to keep somebody in state prison. Yep costs a lot less for them to be in treatment. So let me see if I'm getting this right. You're saying that drug court works better than putting them in prison and throwing away the key. I agree. I believe so. Well, I'm not asking you to agree. I'm asking you what your experience has been as you've observed the process in drug court. Uh, in, in my experience, when you have um, the legal system and treatment working together, it gives more avenues for a client to succeed instead of taking away the option by putting them in jail with no treatment, no outpatient, mental health counseling, medication, anything necessary. Now the the other kind of myth I think is that once a drug addict, always a drug addict and that you really can't help these people. You, you, you think drug court really helps? Yes. I, I think it gives the person an opportunity to leave the past in the past and to start a new life. Yeah. So, do you like your job as a drug court lo Love my job. What do you it, it gets me in the community more, allows me to work, to get more systems working for each client easier. Well, what do you like about being a substance abuse counselor? It seems like it's awful tough work to me. I like working with people that nobody thinks can be helped. And you really think you can help people? Yes. If I didn't, I wouldn't be here. Now, how many people do you uh, think you actually help? What percentage get better as a result of treatment? And um, <clears throat> I don't know the percentage. I just know more, more than if they didn't get any help in the first place. So, in, in my opinion, if if it's a low percentage, it's better than nobody. Do you think your clients are satisfied with the uh, service they get at drug court and through Jacasa here? Yes. Yes. What do they tell you about it? Um, what kind of I, feedback do you get? 
probably depends on where they're at in the uh, it, it recovery depends process. depends on the situation they're involved in. Uh, most, mostly I hear that people are appreciative to have somebody in their corner, somebody that will actually help them out. How long on average do people stay in drug court? One year. They sign a contract for one year. Um, if they complete treatment, get a job or an education, and pay their restitution, then they can complete in one year. Is that right? Eight months for DWI court, one year for drug court. Wow. Sounds like a marvelous program. It's a beautiful one. Save, saves the taxpayers a lot of money and really helps people get their lives back on a better track. Gives them the opportunity to, yes. You know, it's, it's outstanding work you do, Charles. It's what I love. You know how much we love you and the good, good job you do? Yes, my, my stellar supervisor, John Walker, tells me all the time. He tells you how, how much he appreciates your good work and yes, he does. how skilled and competent and knowledgeable you are? Most of those, yes. <laughs> well, listen, good luck in December. Is that a written exam you have to take? Yes, it is. And then you'll be a full-fledged case act. Yep. In the meantime, you continue to work every day, developing more experience and helping uh, substance abuse clients here at Jacasa as well as at Drug Court. Thanks so much for the interview. I really appreciate your taking the time to you're talk welcome. with me. Thank you. Have a good day. I will. I think you told me you're going to Drug Court right now. Five minutes ago. You know what they say in the uh, <coughs> theatrical business, break a leg. Okay, well... I hope not. I gotta work. Okay. Bye, Charles. <laughs>